Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. We're so, so dead. Everyone is dead. And welcome back to another episode of Nice Try Stay We're episode 35, somewhere around there, of our Pokemon White Randomized Nuzlocke. I forget exactly what episode it is at this point. We're going to make our way through Victory Road. If you missed the last episode, I highly recommend you go back and check it out. Uh, tragedy has struck us. Uh, before you see what our team looks like, uh, it's changed a little bit, so spoilers ahead. Uh, for the previous episode, we did lose half of our team, unfortunately. Uh, it was real rough. We lost two to some unlucky, unlucky crits. And uh, one to just a complete misunderstanding of what Turbo Blaze does and not ever going to make that mistake again, hopefully. Uh, we've learned our lesson. Uh, in the sense of the previous one, I have grinded us up. Might have grinded us up a little bit too much, but I'm really tired of grinding. So I just put all of my energy into one more grind fest. Got us to level 55. Because that's where we want to be for the Elite Four. And we're pretty close to the Elite Four. So I figured if I was grinding now, get us where we need to be. Make it through Victory Road and then not have to grind anymore once we actually get there. Might have been a little bit too high for us, but hey, I think it'll be really a good spot for us once we're actually in the Elite Four. Uh, we did add a couple new members to our team. We'll go ahead and introduce them now. We added Vesper and Fritz. Uh, didn't quite get Vesper all the way to level 55. I got so tired and I couldn't quite bring myself to get him all the way to level uh, 55. So he's at 54 and about halfway there holding the lucky egg. Fritz, we just barely got up to level 55. Uh, our stun tank. Didn't really learn any moves at all across the entire leveling up. From like 38 to 55, he tried to learn Memento, and that was it. Um, we did learn uh, Thunderfang and Crunch on Vesper, so rocking a pretty decent moveset, but not too much coverage. Roar has some utility, but not sure it's really what we want. We learned Blizzard on Axel, and I went ahead and gave it Hydro Pump just for a little more coverage. We didn't need that many uh, Ice-type moves. I did get rid of Protect, which as soon as I deleted Protect for uh, Blizzard, I was like, that was probably unnecessary. Uh, don't think we need to be that aggressive with it. Nothing new on Manus here. Uh, nothing new on Karis. We did get a little 56 accidentally. Just had to switch into him a lot, so he got a little bit of extra experience because he was one of the first ones I grinded up. We learned Earthquake and Rock Slide here on Apollo. Uh, we learned both Earthquake and Earth Power, but given that our attack is higher, I deleted Earth Power for Earthquake. Rock Slide I was happy to have, and we'll keep extra sensors for a little bit of extra coverage there. And uh, I think that's really it. That's uh, everything that happened there. We're at the stage in the game where they know most of their moves. Um, I think at this point we probably would have gotten Earthquake on auto as well, which is just tragic. Uh, he was taken from us too soon for sure. Uh, you know, what can you do? What can you do? We tried our best. Oh, I should fly there. What am I doing? We don't need to go all the way through the uh, bag. Not the, not the bag check. The badge check again. It's not an airport. Nice. What are you thinking? Oh, okay. Apollo, please take me. I'm like an Apollo. I think Apollo is going to be pretty good for us. So, you know, 55, probably a little high to grind, but oh, I just, I did not want to have to grind again. Once we got through Victory Road, I was already in the middle of a grind session. I can kind of do something else while I'm doing that. So I just, you know, said, you know, let's just knock it out, do it all right now and get to where we don't need to do it again in the future. And uh, even if we're a tiny bit high for now, I think this will be right where we want to be for the uh, Elite Four regardless. So. Finding a rappel here, in case you're wondering why I'm just scrolling through all of this. Uh, super rappel, right? It's you. What? I don't know how these things are organized. Okay, apparently there's a second uh, subset of organization. Now, I know the balls are at the bottom, but I didn't know that there was uh, another one. I would have jumped to the bottom if I knew that was the case, but oh well. We'll know for next time. All right, make sure we keep our dowsing machine on. Making sure we keep our bicycle on. That's what I meant. Um, we know there's nothing across that water. Got our little shortcuts. I do appreciate that they give you those little uh, strength shortcuts. Pretty sure we go outside here, not straight up. Yeah, over here. Trying to remember, trying to remember. Uh, can't make any promises for actually remembering the correct route, but we will certainly try it. Look, look. I hate it. I hate it. I was trying to go slow. Uh, we've already gotten everything in here. We've never been up here. I believe that doctor is who massacred me last time. No, it wasn't. It was somebody else after that, wasn't it? I don't, I don't ever get this area, though, so... Oh, uh, no, we haven't. It was you, wasn't it? It was you. I think it was him. Yeah, because then we came out here and slid down? No, we've been through here, too? Have we really been all the way through? We've been here, too, haven't we? So we have to go over to the right side. Okay, we've been through this. That's right. Okay. Who killed me? I don't even remember. I've already forgotten them. Okay, throw on another rappel here. The repels, while not necessary, do help this go a lot faster. You know, running into Pokemon every three steps makes this whole process quite a bit more tedious. Yes, you, sir. You did some work, didn't you? Yeah, because we never came up here, so it had to be him. Others would have already gotten this item. So we got to him and then turned around because he bodied us. 
Uh, what can you do? What can you do? Your best. That's all you can do. Sometimes your best isn't gonna parade at the top. That's the top. That's surprising. There's a poker center here, right? And we can fly to this portion as well, I think. If we can fly directly here, I will go back and uh, find those items real quick for us. So but I'm pretty sure you can fly to the top and the bottom of Victory Road here, which is a really nice quality of life improvement. Uh, really well done by Game Freak in that regard, and I don't feel bad at all about grinding up to 55, because that's where I was going to want us to be when we got to the Elite Four. Anyway, we were that close. We were that close. We were there. We were knocking on the door. We had one step through the threshold. Oh, that's tragic. That is tragic. All right. Uh, some decent balls here. That's pretty good stuff. Um, well, at this point... We want to buy as many full restores as we can, which I don't think is going to be nearly as many as we'd like. 16. Okay, that's not super many. Um, let's get a few more full heals as well. Oh, I, I was mashing buttons. Can we sell any other items too? Probably sell a sunstone. That's not for much. It's also a decent bit. We're not going to use the sunstone. Star piece. I already sold my star piece, but okay. Stardust. Sure. Uh, shiny stone. We got three of those. We'll sell all but one. Watch, now that we're, we're going to get one more encounter that's going to be our legendary, I'm guessing... I didn't mean to sell that. I was, I was mashing buttons. Our bone will sell for a good bit. All right. Opal stone will sell one. But yeah, watch me now that I sold all of our... Uh, which one did I sell? The shiny stone or the, the sunstone? Now that we sold the sunstone, watch our uh, encounter be like a gloom or something we'd want to use uh, a sunstone on, a sun kern. If it's a sun kern, it wouldn't go onto the... Uh, the team anyway, so not a big deal. But, uh, big nugget. You can't buy that. That's surprising. I really thought you'd be able to. Collectors. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need to sell every little thing. I did a big batch of selling already. See if we can't get ourselves a few more full heals. Status conditions are pretty annoying, too. We have 25. Let's go up to 30. 30 should be enough. And then we'll buy as many full resources as we can. Luckily, we're in a range still where Hyper Potions will get the uh, job done for us in most situations, for at least getting to full health. So, full reserves are really only there when we need both, and then once we run out of Hyper Potions, which hopefully won't happen. Hopefully, we're fine, but it might very well happen. All right, so we're going to explore a little bit more Victory Road right now. Um, is that dangerous? A little bit. Hello, sir. Do you have something to tell me? There is an item all the way down there. Okay, well, we're getting it. I have the courage. Is it close down here? Okay. That wasn't that far down, sir. Thought it was gonna be worse than that. Muddy water. Not the best, but not the worst either. And you know, you gotta you gotta check, right? Any of these items could end up somehow being a total game changer for us. And muddy water could be some great coverage on somebody, for all we know. Or nobody could learn it at all. That uh it's, it's just about right. That seems right. Uh, that's, that's fitting. Oop, get that dowsing machine on. We could be missing items here for all we know. Uh does this take me in somewhere? It does take me in somewhere. Where does this take me? Does it take me to the other item that we came up? Oh, this one here. Okay. Burn heal. Okay, that's probably not going to matter. Um, What? Do we have a repel on still? Did it fade? Cabalion. Okay, we encountered that before, I think. Um, That must be a rare encounter, then. Because I did not see that while I was grinding. Though I was grinding outside, though, so maybe there's different encounters. There probably are. Um, Well, we just want to run. Cool. A little bit dangerous to stay, knowing that he can get some ground-type moves, but turned out okay. Uh, we're going to head, unfortunately, all the way down. Yeah. Uh, well, how do we get out there? Okay, there's another item here. Maybe that was the item he was talking about. Razor Fang. Okay, that's not a bad one. I don't mind a Razor Fang. Can I climb up this thing? I cannot. Okay. thought maybe that was climbable. So I guess our repel faded then, or Cabalion was just considered important enough to prompt a thing? I don't know. Is this another Cabalion? All right. Well, there's also a Thunderous here. Did we also find Landorus here? This is where we found Landorus, isn't it? This area is stacked, dude. What the heck? All right. Well, okay. Maybe we're actually finding Thunderous? No, he'd only appear if there was weather, right? All right. We're just going to ready from these guys. I guess we'll throw in another Repel. I swear we had... Used to repel, but maybe we ran out and I forgot. Uh, we probably ran out. I mean, we covered a lot of distance to that point. 
Okay, just a weird coincidence that we're only finding legendary Pokemon. Also super cool that there are that many legendary Pokemon in here, because we also know there's a Thun uh, Landorus, so that's pretty cool. Um, so where haven't we been? This area is cavernous. So finding the right way is not that difficult for us right now. We know how to go the right way. How do we intentionally go the wrong way to pick up the other items? Because we still haven't gotten that item over here. I think to get that one, we need to find that weird like inlet one that was way, 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 way down. Gonna do that. Let's go out here. Um, don't want to go down there yet. I want to go down that long one, which I think requires us actually going back up to the top. I do not know. So we haven't been to that area either where that boulder is? Nope, this is the wrong one. We gotta go out here. And then we gotta drop, we wanna drop down here I think still. We haven't, we might not have been to that one either, but I don't know, that doesn't seem right. Doesn't seem right. I mean, I should be trying to do what isn't right because clearly we've already done what's right, so. Wow, all right, I was gonna at least get us up the stairs and then pop the repel, but. Thank goodness we did not find a masquerade. Oh, I'd have been so upset. I'd have been so upset if we found a masquerade. All right. Um, I guess we'll go ahead and take this thing out. There's so much intimidate lately. Uh, like the place I was grinding initially to get him trained up, where the Gyarados were. Uh, Gyarados is intimidate. There's also Mighty Anna there. Mighty Anna has intimidate. I have intimidate, and so it's just a giant intimidate fest. Every time we start off a battle. All right, get out of here, masquerade. Not a bad amount of experience, surprisingly. Considering it was a few levels lower than us. Alright, uh, we will pop on one more repel, because uh, I'll be darned if I want this to take too much longer. Alright, uh, we never went down here, so we'll explore down here. Okay, that takes us to this. Defiance gone, we don't have any more strength anymore. Is there anyone we can teach strength to that isn't going to be detrimental? Come on, somebody's got to be able to learn strength and have it not be too bad, right? You know what, we're gonna teach it to Fritz. Fritz knows Slash, we can replace Slash. Losing the crit chance, but... We need an Acid Spray. I want Acid Spray, you know, it's our only poison type move on our team. Uh, don't think I need, uh, uh, I think maybe Axel could have learned Gunk Shot, but maybe we teach somebody Gunk Shot now? Apollo can learn it and Axel can learn it. Uh, wouldn't mind having a little bit more coverage on Axel here. I like having both Blizzard and Ice Beam. We can get rid of Crunch. We have enough dark coverage still on the rest of our squad between Manus and Karis having it and Fritz having it. I don't think we need Axel to have Crunch. Uh, also, Luxray has Crunch, so we have plenty of dark type around, uh, so I'm not too worried about that. And let's give ourselves a little bit more uh, coverage there. All right, pop this bad boy in there. It's Terrakion, that's what Terrakion is. I was like, this is like a boulder I can push. Why can't I push it? So it's Terrakion is. All right, so we're gonna go down the one I think is wrong now and see where we end up. So we go down here, which I don't think is the right way to go, and we'll check what's in here. Somewhere else we've already been? Looks like somewhere else we've already been. We've already been here. Okay, so it was just totally wrong. All right, completely unproductive and wrong. Okay, let's go to the top and take that long route down. I think that's our best bet now. We're gonna have to use another repel too, aren't we? Oh, uh, we totally are. All right, slot that dowsing machine on. Should pop on our bicycle, just make things faster. I hate you, I hate you and everything you stand for, sir. You're the one that did this to me. I blame you for all of our problems. Please let me in the door. All right, at the top, how do we go down? Just a little bit. Slide down just a little bit here. It does not feel like that's what I wanted. Oh, so I just need to slide down next to that guy there. Okay. Oh, here we are again, okay. So I just need to go to the very right-hand side as close as I can and go down that way? I don't know, I don't know, dude. We'll figure it out. That'd be spooky, going on on a bicycle. Yikes. It does look like we're stepping off the bicycle. My... My repel didn't fade, did it? Did I? Now I might just be going crazy. I do, I do not recall seeing our repel go off. Maybe I'm just mashing buttons too much and uh, we, I'm missing notifications, but whatever. A little bit of experience here for Vesper. He's not quite 55 anyway, so works out all right. So we really got bodied by the last trainer that we had to battle. Did my repel fade and I just did not notice again? I must have, right? Like, we shouldn't be finding things. We're high enough level that it shouldn't be running into them. It's not that bad. I mean, we can knock this thing out for experience, so it could be worse. Whoa, look at that. You're countering us uh, with your hypercutter. All right, all right. Will we start the Elite Four this episode? Probably, yeah. Yeah, probably. 
I said that, and then I checked, and I couldn't even see the timer, so let's see how we're doing. Oh, yeah, we have plenty of time. We're at least taking down one Elite Four member, for sure, this episode. So don't you fret. It's happening. I'm not just stalling, I promise. I am getting a little bit lost, but uh, I think you should expect that. You should come to expect that from me now anyway, so let, let me in. Okay, we're popping a repel. I, I wasted too much time there. We're popping a repel. Okay. All right. I'm somehow not noticing when that thing goes off. Please, let me in. Oh my, I'm, I'm tapping it. I'm like doing the tiniest tap I can of my buttons, I promise. All right, right at the top. We need to slide down a little bit. All right, that's where I want to go. It's in this divot. Okay. We've done it. Max Ether is actually super clutch for us. That's awesome for us to have in the Elite Four. That's really, really good. I cannot stress again how good that is for us. What the heck is this thing? No? Okay, so it's up it's top top then. Okay. Over here. Alright. Premier ball. That's not very good. That's okay. Mental herb, also not very meaningful. But you never know. You gotta check, you gotta try, you gotta see what's what. This is the guy with the karate room, right? And we got a TM. I figured there was at least one more TM, and it's double slap, so not so good. That's okay. We are done now. I believe we can go outside. Is there an exit to the outside there? I think we can go outside and fly up to where we need to go now. Get me out. We're out. Okay, cool. Right before we found anything. But yeah, I think now we can fly up there, which means this should be quite painless. Heck yeah, dude. That's how we do it. All right. It's time. It's time for the Elite Four. Uh, I'm glad we grinded up to level 55. That's where I want to be for this. It might be a tiny bit high in the beginning. I, they're probably going to lead with like... 52, 51-ish, if I had to guess. Uh, hard to say, hard to say. But we'll see. Save, just because this is a, a critical moment. Uh, you always got to save a critical moment, so you never know what could go wrong. Hopefully nothing, but... Oh. If we lose even once, we don't get to start over. We have to end. I don't want to go in yet. I don't want to go in yet. Yeah, I got it. I know there's no turning back. No, I don't want to go in. Sorry. I want to just make sure there wasn't anything over here. <laughs> I wasn't sure it was over here, so I just want to check. Nothing over here? Just the scenery? Big rocks? Okay, making sure. This is it? This is it? Alright, um... We'll lead on Vesper. I like leading on an Intimidate user. Uh, I'm sad that we didn't have any better coverage for him. But it is what it is. Yeah, he already has a Dark-type move. We attack... I guess we can see if you can learn gear grind. It might not be a bad option for him. Apollo can learn gear grind. That's pretty sick. All right, we're done stalling. We're done stalling. It's time to go in. We're doing it. Hello, sir. Once you start your challenge, you cannot leave until you win against all or lose. Do you want to go in? Yes. Then proceed. All right. We're in. Doesn't really matter who we go up against first, but... Let's see, it tells me, right? Words are engraved on the statue. Four great warriors from this Pokemon League. To the southwest is one who does not fear the ghost type. To the southeast is one who channels the power of the fighting type. To the northwest is one who has mastered the dark type. To the northeast is one who knows the mind of the psychic type. If you can defeat these warriors with your courage and wisdom, you shall be led to the summit, where you will be the strong, where the strongest champion awaits. So when they said the one that does not fear ghost types, I figured they meant that was the dark type user because they're not afraid of ghosts because they're super effective against them. But apparently it means that they use ghosts because they're not afraid of them. So let's see. So southwest, south, never eat soggy waffles. That's going to look backwards in your screen. So never eat soggy waffles. So we need to go. Waffles South. So South Wales. Okay, so we're gonna lead. I want to save Grimsley for last because he's my favorite. Pretty sure that's, that's Gen 5 where it's Grimsley. So we're gonna go in here first. It should be Ghost. Looks pretty ghosty. All spooky. Hello. We're getting taken upstairs by some Will-O-Wisps. I do like this Elite Four. They really go heavy on the theming and I like it. I like it. It is kind of weird that I think in every single one of them there's something else that moves you instead of the actual staircase. Eyes brimming with dark flame. This man has rejected everything other than himself in order to bring about one singular justice. That's part of a novel I'm writing. I was inspired by the challenger who was just here, and somehow I got a little sad. Excuse me, you're a challenger, right? I'm the Elite Force ghost type user, Chantal, and I shall be your opponent. 
All right, Chantal, bring it on. Chantal, Chantal, Robin. All right, Robin with her mighty pen there. The pen is mightier. Gent Robin. All right, Gent Robin. You got leading on Yan Mega. Seems like a pretty good first matchup for us. 53. All right, we're right where we want to be if they're leading on 53. I think we have gotten to the perfect level for us to be on par, not making it too easy, but also giving ourselves a good chance. Uh, we're going to Thunderfang it and uh, hope it's good enough. U-turning. Okay, I did not expect that. That's inconvenient. Don't go into a ground type. Don't go into a ground type. Just don't. It went into a ground type because the Elite Four is good. And it's 56. And it's 56. And it's 56. We're in trouble now. Okay, uh, well. Weak to ground. Weak to ground. Weak to ground. Okay. Uh, Axel, can you take a hit and then Ice Beam this thing? I don't know. Let's go into Apollo because it goes for a ground type move, which it should, because the Elite Four is good, and they go for their most damaging attacks often. Then we'll dodge, and we'll be able to hit it back hard. There we go. There we go. That's right. You read me. I read you. That's right. I'll hit him with a little EQ action. Watch him switch into the Omega. I was like, if you switch into the Omega, reading me back again, you can't be mad. You can't be mad if that happens. Scary face is fine. I don't really care about being slower. Uh, I wish that that Earthquake did more damage. I thought it would. Uh, but that's okay. It is a higher level than us. Hit him with an EQ again. Sandstorm? Hey! Okay, don't get copyright tricked. Uh, <laughs> you gotta make the Darude reference. How can you not? Alright. You can't tell? I'm feeling good. Feeling better than last episode. We're in a, a, a tight spot here just because it's a difficult part of the game. But this is the moment we've prepared for. Alright, I think that we do get to heal... Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, 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 no. That's really bad. Vesper, please paralyze this thing. Oh no. It's gonna wipe away the sandstorm too and bring out the rain. Oh, they're trying me. They're trying me early. Luckily, this is not our ace. It's only level 53. Intimidate might help. It's probably mostly special moves. If this thing has water spout, I think it wipes our team. Genuinely. I think I actually have to go for Spark, just for that extra chance to hit and paralyze. Oh, we're dead. We're so dead. We're so, so dead. Everyone is dead. Everyone and their mother right now is dead. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. This might be a job for Manus. I mean, it's got our highest special attack. It resists. But if we miss, we're screwed. Karis will probably be faster, and we can hit it with a Sacred Sword to mitigate the damage some. I don't know if it's going to be enough, though. Hmm. Alright, it's Manus, and... Oh. It's Manus, and we're going to Google real quick to make sure I'm understanding Hustle right. I think Hustle only applies to physical moves. Hustle. Is it only physical moves are increased and accuracy has changed? Damage from physical attacks is increased by 50, but the accuracy is lower by 50. Okay, that's what I was pretty sure. And when I was playing, when I was grinding, I never missed a Dragon Pulse. This isn't going to do as much, but I just need to hit it. It has Ice Beam. Of course it has Ice Beam. Please live one. Live one, Manus. Live one. We lived one. My boy. My boy. My love. Oh! Coming through. Coming through. I'm so... Oh my god. They did nothing. They did nothing. Oh no. Karis, get out here. Oh! Okay. Well, to be fair, Otto wouldn't be any better here. Honchkrow wouldn't be better here. And Agron would barely be better here because we could live with 30. So... No matter what, we we're going to be in a bad spot here. So now we got to go on that Sacred Sword plan and hope we damage it enough that Water Spout doesn't kill us. That was a lot of damage. I'm feeling pretty good about this. I think we live this. I think we live this. We live this. We live this, boys. All right. We're going to heal because we're in a stable position now. So we're going to heal. It might have rest, which could be annoying. But if it has rest, that's fine. It's going to let me heal the rest of my party. Oh, losing Luxor immediately sucks. I also shouldn't have used the... Numa Milk, I should use the Hyper Potion to get us back to full. That did a lot still. That's enough that a crit actually scares me. 
So actually gonna, we're actually gonna knock it out then. This should do the trick. Very common to do the trick, and even if it doesn't, Water Spout will do next to nothing when it's that low. Oh, why are you gonna try me so early? <laughs> oh. Cherim, thank you. Thank you. You saw that we needed a break, and you're like, hey, let's give you a break. Let's, let's make this nice and easy for you. Put out a Cherim in the rain. That's totally fine. We kick this out with an Ice Beam. Uh, probably one Ice Beam, maybe two. Worry Seed, that's fine. I get Insomnia, I can't sleep. Totally fine. Doesn't bother me. All right. <sighs> All right. We already lost one Pokemon, though. And like the, the more Pokemon you lose, obviously, the harder it gets, just because now you don't have that coverage. So now, you know, a water type comes out, we don't have too much to do against it. There's the Omega that we would have been great against with our boy Vesper, but we couldn't live it. We couldn't live it. Ay, 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 ay. All right. Is this your last Pokemon? All right, so last one. They only have four Pokemon. Oh, we have a chance. We have a chance. They only have four. All right. As soon as you beat them, if you come back, they're higher and have five. Um, but the first time you go through, it's a lot easier. Or a little easier, yeah. A lot easier because the levels are lower. Uh, a little easier because they only have four Pokemon instead of five. We've made it through one quarter of the Elite Four, and we only lost one sixth of our team. Those sound like win in numbers to me, but at the same time, Vesper got to fight like three Pokemon and died, which is not great. Oh, S sorry. First, I must apologize to my Pokemon. I'm really sorry you had a bad experience because of me. Oh, it's not your fault. This is always how battles are. Even light of that, I'm still one of the Elite Four. All right, well, she said she had to apologize to her Pokemon first, and then she never did anything else after that. She kind of forgot. Um, well, let's get ourselves healed back up and decide who we put out front. Who do we put out front? It's probably not Axel, because he resists next to nothing. It's probably Karis. I think Karis is our, our main boy. He's uh, got a lot of coverage. He's got you know pretty good resistances, pretty good stats. Uh, Manus, I'm so glad you lived that one Ice Beam. That was entirely Eviolite. Without Eviolite, he would have been gone. So very gone. All right, how do we save Grimsley for last? That's all. I'm pretty sure the right, the far right side is fighting. I just feel like it is. Yeah, okay. I, I know we read it earlier, but that's just one that I remember. I just remember this one being fighting. I didn't remember any of the others. I just knew this one was fighting. All right, we got the little conveyor belt here. Send me up. This one's probably the most boring. One, what does any of this stuff have to do with fighting? At least the other one was spooky and had like flaming spirits fast. So it made made sense. What does that have to do with fighting? Is he a construction worker? Is that his thing? I don't think so, right? He's got like baggy hammer pants. I forget this guy's name, but I remember he's got hammer pants. Hello, sir. All right, we'll go ahead and save. Go ahead and save. Oh. Unfortunate to lose Vesper so quickly. Our Intimidate user was so nice to lead on. It's so good to be able to switch into Intimidate. But Luxor was always going to be a little bit frail, just stat-wise. That's how he is. We put Karis up front, right? Okay, cool. We don't have an item on Karis. That has to change. You know what? You know what? We're going back to our roots. Going back to our roots. We're giving him the root fossil. No. Uh, we're going back to our roots and we're giving him the King's Rock. Where's the King's Rock? It's above this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're giving him the King's Rock and we're counting on those flinches, dude. Those flinches are going to come in clutch. Just you watch. Just you watch. Our boy's going to show off again. We don't have double kicks. We, we're missing that combo, but Sacred Sword is just way better. Um, do we have anything on... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Do we not have anything on... Skunk tank either? We do not. That needs to change. Uh, I think we have a black sludge, right? Pretty sure we got a black sludge. That'll be a great one to have on him. Black sludge. There it is. Got a couple of black sludges. All right. Well, like I said, 55, right where we want to be. Marshall, that's his name. Greetings, challenger. My name is Marshall. In order to master the art of fighting, I'm training under my mentor, Alder. My mentor sees your potential as a trainer and has taken an interest in you. It is my intention to test you. To take you to the limits of your strength. Kayay! All right, Marshall, bring it on. Hey, Joey! Gent Joey, bring it on. Look at it. He's got hammer pants if I've ever seen him. All right. That's uh, not a good matchup. Definitely not a good matchup. What is a good matchup here for us? Do we have a good matchup here? We don't really have a good matchup here. 
Apollo's not bad. We don't resist, but we can hit it pretty hard. What's Fritz's stats like? Good bit of defense. Pretty bulky. Not that bulky, really. I just, like, when I was training up Skunk Kick, I just felt like it did zero damage. But we gotta switch, because we, we definitely can't stay in here. I think it's gotta be Manus. I can't keep babying Manus. It's my instinct to baby him and not send him out when, uh... Because I just want him to die. I, I just don't, I don't want to lose him. Thunder, eat this up, Manus. Eat this up like it's nothing. Like it's nothing. That's pretty good. Not like it was nothing quite, but pretty good. Uh, here, I think we need to hit it. We need to hit it hard. We're going for the Dragon Rush. Flamethrower, if that's its best move for us, we're in an okay spot. As long as we don't get burned. Why do I even say anything? Why do I open my big stupid mouth? We missed anyway, so it didn't matter. But come on. But come on. All right, well, here's what we want the full restores for. But again, still, if he's only got Flamethrower, we know we survived two of them. We survived a crit. We'll be fine. We still have a crit and a burn. So we're going to be okay here. I think. Okay. How dare you? How dare you, sir? I, I'm offended. 10% chance to burn on Flamethrower. 10! Happened twice in a row. 1 in 100 chance that happens twice in a row. Ah. Infuriating. Mildly infuriating. Ah. Pretty sure that's how uh, probability works. Don't you dare. Three times in a row is 1 in 1,000 chance. That was a crit. A crit is even less likely to happen than a burn. So I, I feel like that almost is worse. But I would have been way madder about a burn. We do have to heal, unfortunately, because we can't survive another crit. Two crits in a row, really unlikely. You know, it's 16 squared chance. One in 16 squared. <sighs> that is less likely than two burns in a row. What is happening? Please. We've been burned, burned, crit, crit. Whew, I don't even want to try and do the math of what the odds of that is. It's 1 in 10 times 1 in 10 times 1 in 16 times 1 in 16. That is insanely unlikely. Though, I mean, once we've been crit once, you know, the next crit is just as likely. So you have to do all the calculations in the very beginning uh, in order to really get an idea of, you know, the odds, I suppose. But, all right, just hit him. Just hit him. I hate hustle as an ability. I hate how inaccurate it makes us. Please. Knock it out. Just show me how strong you are. Knock it out. I can't be mad at that. I can't be mad at that. All right, he's going to heal. Almost certainly. So if he's going to heal, I think we go for a body slam. To try and get a paralysis. Knew he's going to heal. Knew it. So now if we hit body slam and paralyze, then we can dragon rush pretty safely. Paralyze. Paralyze. Please. 30% chance. It's more likely than anything he did. Unfortunate. We're going to heal here because uh, I don't think we love a crit. And a crit just barely kills us. And a crit plus a burn definitely does. Now getting crit and burn? That's just cruel. That'd just be cruel. Alright. Thank you. Alright. Probability has returned to normal. It, it appeared. We're going to save our Dragon Rush. We don't have very many. And it looks like another uh, Body Slam will knock him out. So we're going to go for that. Okay. There we go. Should do it. Should do it. Unless it was low roll, high roll, and a low roll. A crit. Thank you, Manus. Thank you, Manus. I appreciate it. The fact that this boy can take a hit because that Eevee Light is super big for us. Super big. Lumenion. This is where it would be great to have our boy Vesper. But we don't have Vesper. So we'll go to Fritz. Uh, Lumenion can be really annoying. And I think we kept Toxic on Fritz. So I'm just going to Toxic this thing. It's a little bit bulky. It might go for an Aqua Ring. Uh, so we'll just, yeah. I like having Toxic. Toxic is... Ah, uh, don't you dare go into a Steel type. I'll be livid. Livid. Am I tilted because we lost the Vesper immediately? Okay, a little bit. You went into a Poison type. That's just as bad, but I didn't think to request it. Didn't think to request not a Poison type. Dang it. All right. Uh, that's okay. He should go for a Ground type move here, which means we can go into Apollo without a problem. We also resist Poison if he does go for a Poison type attack. And we can hit back with an Earthquake, which should be good. All right. Earth Hour, totally good. Now hit him with an EQ. We're going to run out of moves. Like, that's the problem, is if we're using our most powerful and stab moves all the time, we're going to run out eventually. Knock him out. Loving it. All right, Apollo is a powerhouse. Powerhouse of Pokemon here. All right, Executor. Okay, that seems like a great time for Axel. We still have pretty good coverage on our team, which I really do like. Our coverage is pretty solid. Uh... Could be a little bit better. You know, our, our coverage moves on the side could, you know, they leave a little bit to be desired, but not too much. Uh, I think we Ice Beam this thing. Good chance Ice Beam takes it out. 
and Blizzard is just inaccurate enough. I don't really want to go for that extra little bit of punching power at the risk of just missing when we can get it done with a single ice beam. All right, going much better already. Luminion's coming back. Fritz, get back out of here. Get back out of here, boy. He didn't like the matchup last time, so he jumped out of there. So we'll go for it again. He didn't like it then. He's not going to like it now, and he's got nowhere to run. Nowhere to run, Luminion. This is my final Pokemon, so we use our last bit of strength. All right, well, I don't want to use strength on you yet, but I will in a moment. I hate you and everything you stand for. Just be toxic. Why are you making life so difficult? All right, bounce is probably going to paralyze me. Because why? Oh, just missed. All right, cool. A little bit of a turn of favor for our side of things now. Excellent. We've gotten... We haven't gotten unlucky so far, really. I mean, the Kyogre was unlucky to encounter a Kyogre. But, you know, we didn't get crit when we could have been crit in one shot. So, you know, could be worse. Go for Night Slashes here. Bounce is annoying, but hey, what can you do? I'm actually okay with Bounce. Um, it's a little bit annoying that it uses our PP for our moves. That's really the most annoying part of it. Uh, but, <laughs> wow, he missed twice. That's actually... I think Bounce is like 85% accurate, so it's not super unlikely, but... Right, he might go for a full restore here. I'm actually pretty confident that he will. I'm confident enough that I will... Ah, I'll go for another Toxic. He didn't? Alright, well, I wasted the Toxic, but that means he should die to the Toxic here before he can uh, actually heal. Uh, so, we'll just take this turn to heal one of our dudes. We're going to do this after the battle anyway. I can't heal Fritz, so why waste a move if we don't need to waste a move? Wow. Missing three bounces in a row? That's pretty unlikely. It's more likely than uh, you know a burn followed by a burn followed by a crit followed by a crit, but... Missing three of those in a row is still pretty unlikely. Oh, I didn't read his lines because I, I was too busy being distracted by the fact that he beat the odds. Well done! Well done! As your battle continues, aim for even greater heights! Alright, well, that was a pretty short little snippet there. Uh, make sure we are fully healed on everyone. We are, right? Did, right, because he missed? Yeah, we're actually totally fine because he missed the, all, every single bounce! That poor Luminion, it was trying its best and it just wasn't getting it done. All right, well, we are halfway through the Elite Four. That's where we're going to wrap up this episode. Only lost one of our Pokemon. Could be worse. Could be worse. Uh, also, it being Luxray. Not ideal by any means, but one of our weaker links. Not going to say the weakest link. I think that title might belong to Fritz, but, you know, I just like Luxray a little bit better than Skunk Tank. That's probably where that bias is coming from. That's it for this episode, though. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you want to see some more of these in the future. Hit that like button if you did enjoy it. Hit the bell icon and notifications when a new episode comes out. Every single day, there's a new episode at 9 a.m. Eastern Time. I have switched this outro up all over the place. You might have noticed if you frequent this channel. And until the next episode, I hope you have a nice day. Thank you so much for watching this episode. If you enjoyed it, check out these similar videos floating all around your screen.